from his countryman and he doesn't make any mistake about that. Because we've got the end of the first half soon enough. Back from recess. They always look the bright of the two sides. And Fede got the generous was repaired by Boate. He had not to won the free kick, took it quickly, and the Japan with his first goal took a wicked deflection off the Gold Stars player, Isaac Barr. Yeah, the same armbar at the end of Ousu's cross. Lovely pass from Imoro. And the handball has in deliberately handles the ball, gets a yellow, Ituga steps up. He's not making any mistake. He makes it. And the Cameroonian gets his 14th of the season. Well converted. Swan at the stage. Quick sense of awareness from Etuga to pick out some more watching. Clever, lovely chip over the goalkeeper. Kusi for Kotoko's fifth. And the icing on the cake. A night where these fans will party deep. Wrap up here at the Babayara Stadium. Kotoko five. Goal stars nil with eight shots on target. Six corners, but we committed 30 fouls. Well, it's over. League leaders got to five, those stars nil. Performance with five goals coming your way today. What about the performance that impressed you the most? Yeah, it was okay. The performance was okay. We were able to keep the ball, we were able to create the spaces. Uh, they came too high up on air some of the times left a lot of spaces behind them and were able to sign in those long accurate passes behind them to create those chances to score. So I'm okay. I mean playing against goal stars, a very good side, very tactically broad side, especially in the middle of the pack and scoring five. It tells the work rate that the gentlemen put into the game, the determination, the discipline, the confidence with which uh, they approved this game. Before the kickoff, we saw the lineup uh, in commentary. I realized your captain Ganyu was starting. Then the word that came in few minutes to kick off was that he, he was out of the game because he played a knock. How bad is that knock and how long, if you have any information, is he going to stay out? Yeah, it's not that bad. But then uh, we thought it wise that um, we'd have to rest him because in the warm up he complained. And we thought it wise that we'd have an equally competent centre back in the person of our people. So we decided that we should rest him. So I'm not sure he'll be away out for a longer time. He'll play in the next game. Hopefully he'll play in the next game. After the game, he found another injury problem. Imoro is injured. Today he actually was the man of the match. Unfortunately, he couldn't finish the 90 minutes. Uh, any word on him? Is he, is he also carrying something serious? Yeah, uh, this is uh, a little bit serious. But then, uh, per my engagement with the, the, the medical team, they are saying they will, they, will, they will examine him tomorrow and then get back to me before they cruise off. 
work tomorrow. So I'm, I'm likely to be updated on it tomorrow. All right, we hope we get good news on that one. Coach, thank you very much and all the best subscribe games. Congratulations. Uh, let, me, let me congratulate the Kotoko uh, team. I think they have done well. I mean, uh, with a test, such a score line, I mean, uh, the game that we were playing, uh, we should have received such a goal. I mean, that five goals, I mean, it was, was too much for, for, the, for the team. You know, they were, they were not bad. My voice was not so bad that uh, we should consider that uh, five goals. Uh, but all the same, sometimes when, when a game like this, I mean, we can, we can, learn, a lot, we can learn a lot from it. And then we move on and then do better in the next game. Yeah, you talk about learning a lot and doing better in the next game, but what, what then did you pick from this game that you think your, need, your team needs to improve on? I think, that, I think defensively we were, we, were, we, were, we were lacking a lot of concentration, you know. Yeah, so that's, and then the pitch was uh, very wet, and then we couldn't, uh, they, sh they should make things very simple at the back, but uh, at times they were complacency at the back. That's why I mean we continue such a goals. Uh, it's very painful. Uh, it's very very painful. But uh, I, I will not I will not do a blame game. We, we have to go back and then work very hard and make sure the next game will go, go well for us. All right. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is quite interesting. But the referee, the center referee is close to the incident. I don't know what business you want on the front of the I mean, maybe the, I don't the know. first time of the incident he raised his mouth. But coming onto the pitch is what he is saying something that uh, is a little bit there. Foul thing. He, he actually flagged for the foul. Then you saw the referee moving to the foot. He should have moved back to the line. But he was still on the pitch. No, it's a bit. Is he as, as, as a little bit uh, weird, but what, uh, what coach said, speaking to somebody who has been a referee, saying that... Um, well, honestly, I, I feel that it's been hot the headlines. Oh, of course, and I mean, we're going to get, get more going to get better more explanation on uh, this incident uh, from tomorrow. And so, uh, all of you watching us on the side panel, people saying, you, you stay tuned. I'm sure once we come back on Saturday, we'll be able